YouTube, what is up guys? So you asked for it and here it is. The hot seat montage. Okay, this is the first one. I've never done this, but I can tell you one thing. I make my friends look pretty stupid in this and it's gonna be weird. Weird and awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. So I hope you enjoy this. Without further ado, here's the first ever hot seat montage. Watch it. Ryan Chambers, okay. you are in the hot seat. Okay, so how would you feel if a supermodel tried to hug you? I would probably give Sam Tabor a hand massage any day of the week. So right now? Yes. What would you do if you found a lost puppy? Try to kick it away. Inside you, you know how you feel, would you make out with a cat? Yes. You would do that? I would do that. You wouldn't be that more, more excited about it? Oh, I'd be super hyped. I would, <laughs> I would do the crap out of that. It's late at night and you're feeling weird. What do you cover your body head to toe in? Toothpaste and cornflakes. All right, if you had to go back in time and rename yourself, you got to choose it, not your mom, what would you name yourself? I'd go with Tiny Wiener Commander for sure. That's the one? That's definitely the one. 100% the one. Okay, it is midnight and a craving for food hits. What's the first food that you go to? Uh, mustard covered sardines. All right, John, tell me, what is your ideal night at home, the perfect night? Playing with Sam Tabor's Klingly fingers. Would you rather fly your own X-Wing or make out with four Jawas? Jawas. Really? Yes. Do you really mean that? Yes. Okay. All right, Casey, if you could rub anything all over your body, what would it be? Jello and hot sauce. Really? Yeah. Where would you do that? In my fridge, yeah. <laughs> if you won one million dollars, what would the first thing you would want to do? What would it be? Stay at Ryan Chambers naked for 15 seconds. <clears throat> hey, Brian. Yes? If you could hug someone for 30 minutes straight, who would it be? Michael Jackson. If you were to kiss a girl, would you do it? Gosh, uh, I don't know. I don't know! All right, how, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Brian, if you found yourself cold, naked, and afraid on the street at night, what's the first thing that you'd want to do? Play Johnny in a game of skate. Okay. Well said. A simple question, Brian. Come on, look at me. Look at me right now. How many bottles of mayonnaise would you eat for ten dollars? So like four. That that's it. Four. Definitely four. Okay. Get out of here. All right. So you have a top five list of ways to get tickled. What is your right now? What would be your favorite way to get tickled? <laughs> the second one. Brian playing in a bath full of mustard. Okay. Okay. If it was the worst day of your life, what would you be doing? I've been camping many, many times. If you had a diaper, what color would it be? Red. All right, I'm going to say two words. You're going to say the first thing that comes to mind. The two words are girls and kiss. Run away. All right, the question is, if you had to ride a bike for five minutes or eat a plate of nachos naked in Times Square? <laughs> I'll go with the nachos, obviously. I have a lot of, uh... Go with the nachos, naked and all. Go with the nachos, yeah, for sure. So how many pairs of earrings do you own for yourself? Five. Five. I asked my mother, she's right over there. Okay, you're at a slumber party, you're all in your PJs. What's the first thing you and your friends do for fun? Brush Sam Tabor's teeth. That would be it? Yeah. Okay, you are sitting inside your crush's room alone with her and she wants to kiss you. What do you do inside that room? Walk out of it. Quick and easy question. What's the first thing you're going to do on Christmas? Pee in a shoe. That is not what I expected. 100%. No question. Pee in a shoe. How many Pop-Tarts have you eaten today? 45. Okay, I want you to think back on your first kiss. What was the first thought that popped in your head? Dude, Elton John peeing on the couch. Like all, like Wait, anything, anything. There you guys go. So I hope you like that. As I film this, I have not edited this, so I hope it came out entertaining. If you did like what you saw, go down there and give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And uh, I'll start saving up for another hot seat montage. Uh, I would like to say thank you to all my friends who continuously get in the seat and let me make them look really dumb and silly and goofy and whatnot. 
uh, they think it's hilarious too. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you how I do this, but if you think about think about it, you probably understand how I create these clips. It's, it's really not hard at all. It's very simple stuff. I love doing it with Fall Fridays. You know, it's it's like a, a five second skate fall, and I got to turn it into an entire YouTube video. So I, I like to make it goofy, lighthearted, fun, and uh, that's just one of the ways that I try to liven up these videos. I see a lot of people get on here like, yeah, you could have stopped the video at 10 seconds. It's like, why are you on YouTube to watch 10, 10, you can Instagram. There you go, you watch all the 10 second clips you want. Uh, so yeah, I try to make it oomphy. I try to like just review it and goof off and talk about it. Um, so stay tuned. I do videos here every single day. So uh, you'll get you'll get YouTube stuff like this. You'll get skating. You'll get skate falls. You'll get a lot of stuff. I do whatever I think is entertaining in my life. I make a video on it. So if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I would truly appreciate that. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, I have a day in the life coming out, and then uh, the next Fall Friday is actually going to be a stupid slam compilation that I've that of all time, I think, getting all of the certain type of slams on my channel since I started my channel. So it'll be a huge, funny compilation. Watch out for it. But then I'll keep doing Fall Fridays as I normally do. And that is it. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'm gonna go. I will see you tomorrow. You think I can fit this in my mouth? Well, newsflash, I'm not even gonna try. So you'll never know.